Hi, I'm Joanne Marie, and this week on TGIS, I've been challenged to see exactly how much fun I can have in Bangkok with nothing more than a smartphone and data roam plans. And to make sure I don't get lonely, I've been allowed to bring a special friend. This is Cousin, who you may remember interviewed The Wanted a couple of weeks back. Because you already know what an airport looks like, we're meeting on Khao San Road in Bangkok. So, Kasin, our challenge is to have as much fun as possible in Bangkok in 24 hours, okay? Unfortunately, we hadn't had time to do any planning at all, but we do have our trusty mobile phones! Isn't that going to be expensive? Uh, well, not really, because I applied for data room plans when uh, I was back in Singapore. So it's going to help keep the cost down. Okay, let's go find a hotel. Let's go, let's go. For over 20 years, this former rice market has been Thailand's infamous backpacker ghetto. Since me and Kersin aren't on the backpacker trail, we found this place online instead. The soys around Sukhumvit are filled with boutique hotels just like a lot. This is Thai model railroad shop, conveniently situated near Chatuchak Market. I wonder if this is real. Is this real? No, it's not real. This is the only model railway shop in the whole country. I wonder why. This is Casa Pagoda in Sukhumvit. So if you're looking for something eclectic for your humble HDB, this is the place to pick up something so trendy that people who view your purchase will instantly believe you are famous or creative. Hey, do you know what this is for? Oh, I know. Fireplace? Oh really? Yeah. I thought it was like to wear your shoes. Of course, being famous or creative is exhausting. So head next door to Queen's afterwards for something to eat. I know, we're in Thailand and this is a European restaurant. But most of the customers seem to be local. Welcome to the New Thailand. This restaurant fuses Mediterranean food with the nose-to-tail dining revolution. We're too embarrassed to say it, but we're both still a bit hungry. <laughs> no night out in Bangkok is complete without a trip to one of the city's many nightclubs. Funky Villa is on Tong Law Soi Ten and specialises in promoting local bands and pumping R&B. It's a great way to meet other Thai people. Uh, alternatively, just give in to the music and become a slave to the vibe, just like me and Kasin. Well, after all that dancing, Kasin, I'm feeling a little bit hungry. Oh, really? Hmm, I think I've got just the right thing for you. You know, it's a Bangkok delicacy. It's eaten by real Thai people and it's totally delicious. Really? Yes, join me, come on. Okay. Alright, here we oh. are. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, this is the deal, okay? Mm -hmm. If Kasin eats this, <laughs> me, Joy Marie Sim, I will eat this. I mean, it's a delicacy, right? How bad are you going to be? The one, Kasin is good for you. <laughs> Sadly, our 24 hours are up. So Travel Guru, do you have any wise travel tips to share with all of us? If you want a truly spontaneous trip anywhere, enable data room plans before you leave and enjoy easier travel on the go. And now, it's time for a contest. Just tell us your next travel destination and your most essential app went overseas and you could win free data roaming coverage from Singtel. That's it from Kirsten and me, Joanne Marie, and we'll see you next time on TGIS for more secrets from the digital lifestyle. Nice. I'm gonna bath up, bath up, bath up. Bath up. <laughs> if you wanna bath up, please go to a hotel. That's my English teacher would say. <laughs> Subscribe to us on YouTube or find us on Facebook and Twitter. You can also visit singtelshop.com for the latest offers.